Welcome to the Get Published Podcast, sponsored by Birdie Consulting Group. To get more information about our coaching, publishing, executive ghostwriting, and podcast production services, go to getpublishedpodcast.com. Hello, I am Paul Birdie, and thank you for joining us for another episode of the Get Published Podcast, where we help authors get published with a proven system that works. Today, we're being joined by Chris Weatherburn, author of Book of Inspirational Book Reviews. Chris, welcome to the show. Uh, thank you for having me, Paul. It's a pleasure. Are you ready to get started? Absolutely. All right. Question number one. What is the one piece of advice that you would give to a first-time author who is currently writing their book? Sure, Paul. Well, hopefully I've got some useful advice here because I'm at the stage of being a first-time author with my book that you've just mentioned, and I've got a few useful tips to suggest. Obviously, purpose comes to mind. Mine is that I believe I've got useful information to share to people to help a wider audience. So how I've done this, I've read hundreds of books and I've tried to summarize them with my perspective and some background knowledge so that everybody can actually benefit from these. Clearly, writing any book takes a lot of time. Dedication is needed. Time management strategies clearly play a part. Uh, So I use my electronic calendar. I plan my week ahead in which I would pay some attention to what the priority tasks that are coming up and also try and cut out things that aren't important. Uh, So, for example, um, I seldom listen to the news or read newspapers. This isn't because they're not important. It's simply because I personally can't change much of that, and therefore I can dedicate my time to things that I think have more importance to me as a person. Uh, What I would also do is say about writing this in chunks, So for myself, my book is reviewing other people's books and putting this together in an overall review, sharing the knowledge. And to do this, I need to read or listen to lots of books. So personally, I'm listening to audio books, often double or triple speed, writing them up each week. As you know, Paul, there's a saying about eating an elephant. You can't do it all, all at once. You need to start with something, so it may be the trunk, you work up, you eat as much as you can. But what I'm in the process here is that I think I've got a formula in which I can actually be productive. And rather than just eating one elephant, I'm saying, look, here's the opportunity for everybody to have elephants. By the way, I've never ate an elephant. I perfectly love these animals. The other thing I would just say is that focus because there's so many opportunities out there in life. Everything can be distracting. So having persistence there is also important. So really purpose, time management, and focus, Paul. And what do you feel is the hardest part about getting published? Well, Paul, I must confess, um, rather than being an author, my main job is a medical doctor, a family practitioner, as you'd refer to this over in the States. In addition, I'm a clinical informatician, and I'm a proud father, as well as a student studying for an MSc. I've experience in publishing academic papers, and I'm aware of the painstaking attention to detail and persistence that's required, along with dealing with rejections. This is part of life, and you just have to accept these as a, as a budding author. I've gained skills from previously performing a systematic review and meta-analysis, which has helped me condense information for my book. But personally, I'm just going direct to self-publishing, because for me, getting the book out there is what I'm keen to do, and learn and enjoy the process of doing so. Let's talk about marketing. So please share a marketing strategy that you have used in your book launch that has worked well? Certainly. Well, I'm excited to be at this stage where marketing is about to occur. I believe the importance of being positive and doing what you're passionate about will come through in marketing. 
my intention is to produce an audio book version as well as an e-print and a paper print version that's available on demand. I'm going to promote this through Facebook and LinkedIn. I mean, for me, my marker of success is just getting this product out there and enjoying the ride uh, rather than having a particular sales target that I'm looking for. It's a hobby to me. And at the end of the day, if it saves me having to think about my family and colleagues' Christmas presents, here's my book instead, then it'll be a time saver as well. Well, speaking of books, I'd like to know what is your favorite book and what was the number one thing that you learned from it? Well, Paul, it would definitely have to be one of Napoleon Hill's. I'd go with The Law of Success. As you'd be aware, Napoleon Hill's philosophies were built from studying a number of successful people, and the principles are extremely relevant to today. He covers self-confidence. You don't need to tell people about this. Otherwise, that's egotism. In addition, teamwork's covered, in which collectively people can come together to achieve a common goal. Ideally, if these people have different skill sets and perspectives, the team can work fantastically. Persistence, goal setting are all covered by Napoleon Hill. And if you're determined, you will succeed with the inevitable hiccups along the way. It's so relevant to authors who are about to start publishing or who have published a few books. In addition, Napoleon mentions common fears that people have. Death, old age, poverty social fears, loss of love and fear of ill health, uh, along with strategies about how to overcome these. He highlights education is important, but you don't expect to earn from just knowing things. You earn from applying your knowledge and working with what you know. But to me, auto-suggestion and the importance of positive self-talk are stressed and are extremely important. I genuinely do believe that Napoleon Hill's ideas were well ahead of his time, and he's really the guru of self-development. And for a final question, what is your favorite quote and why? Well, Paul, I must admit this was a tricky one, as there's so many profound quotes, like Lao Tzu, what is a good man but a bad man's teacher, what is a bad man but a good man's job, or Marcus Aurelius, you have... You have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this and you'll find strength. But for the purposes of this podcast, I've really had to go for a Zig Ziglar one. In Texas, don't worry about spilt milk. Just look after the cow. And this really highlights the importance of prioritization and focus that I was mentioning before. Well, Chris, I want to thank you for being a guest on the show today. What is the best way for people to find you online? Sure. If they hit me up on LinkedIn, Chris Weatherburn, or if they want to add my Facebook group, Inspirational Books, they can make contact there. Well, Chris, thank you once again for being on the show, and I wish you all the best in your author journey ahead. Thank you so much, and all the best to you, Paul. Thanks again for joining us today. To learn more about how you can be featured in our brand new Get Published Business Book, go to getpublishedpodcast.com.